Hello everyone, Mike Zero Kilo November Mike, um, and this is uh, part two of uh, the uh, video that I did for the uh, discount antenna. And now I did say I was going to do a part two with it up in the air and testing. Um, two couple of things have, have happened um i did get it in the air and on in in the clip in just a moment that we'll we'll do in in just a moment um you'll see that i did get it in the air um and how it looks in the air um and then uh when it went up uh when i got it in the air uh went and test it on uh little mjf um analyzer um pulling the mast up and down um i couldn't get 80 meters below um 2.4 i think it was um 40 meters would not tune at all um the rest of the bands which would be what the ones that i had was 20 meters so i had um 80 40 20 um 15 10 and 6 um so 80 i couldn't get any lower than 2.4 uh 40 i couldn't get to tune at all it, there was no tune whatsoever um it wouldn't go below i think 12 point something uh vswr um and then 20 was about 2.2 uh 15 was about about the same 2.2 um 10 well uh 10 and 6 were the only ones that i could get down to 1.5 um so with that i was um in uh communication with uh moonraker um and now it sits at that um someone at my local club um works at moonraker so what he, I'm going to do is um, to save sending it up in, in post. Um, I've packed it up. It is <clears throat> all here waiting to go. Um, so we packed it up waiting to go. And on Saturday, I will take it to him and he'll take it uh, up there on Saturday. Um, but there is going to be another video I'm going to do. Um, we're going to send this one back and I'm going to get a different one, a different antenna. Now, um, the antenna that I'm most probably going to get, um, apparently, uh, what well, I know the make is very good make um i don't wanna i don't wanna uh say you know what it is just yet um but the antenna is uh, a very good make um they are used quite a lot a lot of people use them a lot of people on youtube i know that use them um they're pretty good aerials um and I suppose I'll give you a, a little hint. They're very good aerials, so long as you get enough uh, wire down on the ground. May may help. I don't know. But I'm going to do uh, another video um, of setting that up. Um, and we're going to test that out, set it up. Because hopefully, if it performs well, um, I can't get it in its optimal position because of where I can mount it. The only place I can mount it is at the back of my shed there. Um, towards the, yeah, towards the back of the shed there. Um, 
so <clears throat> it may not be absolutely optimal, but I have um, I have heard uh, some good uh, some good stuff. So what we'll do is I'll show you the video, um, and then we'll come back uh, and see what what's what. So uh, here's the video. Right, so we're outside. I've taken the uh, cobweb, taken it off for the time being because I want this. Um, up on its own out of the way of everything um, just to make sure that we get uh, um, we get a good SWR on it so as you can see it's here it's a bit hard for me to do So that's the top of it. So that one there is the 80 meter, and then it's the 40, uh, 20. Oh, and we've got a 50 meg band on that one, 28 on that one, and this one is the 21. I think it is that one there. It's a bit hard to see. So all we're going to have is that. So I'm going to throw this. Uh, I've just got to connect it here. So I'm just going to throw this back up in the air. And then we'll test it. I've also got to collect the analyzer tomorrow from my local club. So I will be um, doing it a bit better while it's up. Um, I'm going to try and uh, tune it in, pulling it up and down. Uh, but if I can't do that, then I'll go to the club tomorrow and pick up uh, the analyzer and we'll do it that way. So let me throw it in the air and we'll go and have a look. Uh, so as you see in the video and then the small uh i said the small the, the the very short photo at the end of it um it was down and then i put it back up i was lowering uh, uh lowering and, and and elevating the uh the mast uh numerous times throughout the day um and i was recording on my um av 200 to uh, av 201 swr meter um and the uh have a look. i've got a load of written load of stuff down here so there was loads and loads and loads that i've had to write down <clears throat> um Where are we? So, yeah. Um. Oh, okay. So, it wasn't... Um. So, 3.5. The 80 meter band was at 2.2. Um. 40 meters, there was no tune. 20 meters it was 2.4 um 15 meters there was no tune uh and then t uh 10 and 6 it was uh 3. Point, uh sorry 1.3 and 1. 1.4 uh those were what I could get um and that's with it being up at the height it was so it must have been 9 meters in the air something like that um let me just do a, a calculation. Um, nine, 29 and a half feet. So yeah, I'd say about nine, nine meters, maybe a little bit more, about 30 feet in the air. Um, 
when you take an account of my mast and then the extra little bit um added for the for the for the discount so about 30 feet in the air um it was approximately 10 feet maybe a bit more away from the solar panels um and i couldn't get a tune any lower i can get it tuned on the mfj versa tuner too um i can i can it will perfectly tune with that um but again on 80 meters the um the dip is very 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 sharp um i can't remember how sharp but i know it was it wasn't it was no way near enough for me to do uh, to tune it at three seven um and have the contest basically my contest band that i have three six to three eight or three six to three seven seven something um it was no good for that um <clears throat> so unfortunately i mean i think with a little bit more engineering i mean it may well be perfectly fine um on a mast on a field day it may be brilliant um that i haven't tested um as i've said many a times in my videos uh ringway manchester may well be may well do that may well sorry just a second <clears throat> ringway ringway manchester may well do that anyway um we'll see what he says um it was a little bit disappointing because i thought being it's it was a nice price it was 129 pound i think it was um from moonraker um and i think that if if it had worked it may it, it would be good i mean obviously it's it's a compromise and for especially uh 80 and 40 it is a very big compromise um the the how short the antenna is compared to the wavelength of the band it's going to be you know a very big compromise anyway um that in itself i mean every antenna is a compromise i suppose you're going to compromise something over something else um but apart from that, the overall experience uh, is, is made relatively well. Uh, I didn't have any queries with how it was made. Um, it's quite compact. It's only 2.2 meters in circumference. Um, so overall, I think it was, it's just my, for me, for my conditions of where I needed it mounted, um, it just wasn't viable for me um i can't i can't sit there and say it was a a very bad antenna um you know um they you know every every aerial is a compromise it just depends on what you want to compromise so say say a, a three element beam four element beam whatever is a compromise because you get it all out the front nothing much out the side and nothing out the side uh, uh, sorry nothing out uh, not much out the back and nothing out the sides um so every antenna is is a compromise somewhere um but like i said i will be doing another video um when we get this other antenna um and like i said it's um i do hear good reports on them um but we'll see you know it may not even work for me in the position that i need it in uh, because i can't put it you know directly in the middle of my um my garden that might give you a, a little hint as well um so again you know it's a bit of a an anti-climax i suppose on on part one and part two of, of, of the video but you know we win some we lose some um so with that 
like up uh thumbs up for if you like it thumbs down if you don't um uh like subscribe to the channel comment in the comment sections anything that you would like me to know uh what you think i've done wrong maybe in the video how how you would have had it mounted maybe that maybe i got it wrong with the mounting and it may have helped me to do it um it doesn't say in in any of the um write-ups where is it this one here so if i go here and then go main uh there we go but my my ugly mug's in the way I'll admit. <laughs> um that one right so in the, the write-up in all of this it doesn't say that it needs um a counterpoise it doesn't say it needs a grounding system so i didn't put one on um for it um maybe it might have helped i know someone in the comment section on my first video did say that he's got the same antenna as a different named uh under a different name maybe you know um they have better luck with it as well uh we'll just turn myself back on there <clears throat> so um yeah you know i can't say it's a bad antenna it's just not good for me in my circumstances that i'm in um so with that we'll end it there um wait for this uh these and other videos uh again on the weekend this weekend uh let me get my calc uh, da, 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 da. this weekend the 30th, uh, 30th and the first um you got a contest um it's the uk ei dx ssb contest um we're gonna have a little go we'll do a little bit of a um a live stream for that uh and we'll see how things go so thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.